Hi, I'm Miss Bryant. <laughs> uh, I'm Ovid. I'm Christina. And I'm Ovid. You already know. And we have your announcements for you. Okay, here's what's happening. Did you know there's only one week of February left? One week. We have some students leader stuff happening next week, including an after school training on Tuesday. We have 50 student leaders. You guys aren't student leaders. Nope. Nope. Nah. So sad. I, 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 so sad. Anna, what are you doing? We'll focus on excuses later, but I am missing people who aren't student leaders, and I'm so excited about this. Um, the event itself is on the 27th, so if you know anybody that's thinking about IVA, then tell them to come to the event because this is for students, by students. But March, let's talk about March, which is coming up very soon. Open house is on March the first week, and because there's an open house and teachers are here this additional time and are required to be here, then we're taking off some time on the school day the next day. You guys, Fridays in March are amazing. The first Friday, it's a minimum day because of open house. The second Friday, it's faculty academy. No school for you. The third Friday, there's a dance. It's actually called spring fling, and I think you're supposed to think like flower power. I don't know what people are going to wear. We can start talking about it. <laughs> Flowers in your hair? I don't know. Dress oh, like yeah. a hippie? I got no hair. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but then we have eighth grade conferences, so the last Friday in March is also a minimum day. We have like all exciting Fridays in March, um, and then if we look so far ahead to April, the eighth graders have their leadership camp the last um, or the very first week that there are days in April. Yay! Okay, who's this? Oh, oh uh, I got you. Um, so, <clears throat> um, uh, app applications for IVA. Uh, you know, do March 13th, you know, for your siblings and everything, so make sure you have siblings. Do you guys have any siblings? Yeah, no. brother. I mean, younger brother. Younger yeah. brother, yeah. but not a fifth grader. No, second grade. Second grade. And do you know what is really sad? I'm sorry to announce this in front of the whole world, but our charter language says any currently enrolled students, their sibling gets the exemption. It doesn't have to go through the lottery process, automatically gets in. But you're going to be in eighth grade when your brother's in third grade. So your brother's not going to get automatically in. That is so sad. But if anybody's um, like in eighth grade and your siblings are in fifth grade, you're in. They're in. They're like, what are you doing? All right. Boundary clarification. Who's this? Uh, so, exit and entry through the boxes corner. Uh, the glass doors, like from the rec center, again are out of bounds. Uh, after 4:30, when the office is closed, uh, exiting through the glass doors is okay. The back stairwell and drinking fountain, anything beyond two or five, or downstairs beyond the office hallway, are is off limits. Um, yeah. No restroom. For the first and last 15 minutes of class, um, yeah. I am a victim to... You did everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, okay, so some of the things that I see most frequently is people are like hanging out in the halls or even like the um, area in front of the restroom. There's a plane overhead. They're hanging out in that area, but there's no supervision there. So if if that continues, you could get like a, a warnings leading up to alternative lunch because there's no supervision we need to do safety. Um, and, and to clarify, sometimes the office is locked and you have no way to exit. After 4.30, you can exit through those glass doors. It is okay. You won't get busted. Let's, let's review some rules. Um, phones and electronics. First and fashion is pick up after school. Second is parent pick up. Third is cell phone contract and drop off pick up from office. Also, you're not allowed to use your cell phone between 7.50 and 3.20. Um, at 3.20, you only bring it out when you are outside of the classroom. Cell phone and restroom is breaking the rules. I know all of you guys cell phones in the restroom, oh. it will be taken away. Oh. Adults can you ask doing? you to put oh. phone in bag or hold it while you go to the restroom. Um, as of Friday the 21st, four students are on cell phone contracts, 13 others with two infractions. That means there are 13 students at this doing? school that if you get yeah, your phone no. caught one more time, which by the way, um, we out. can as adults knock on the restroom door, announce ourselves, especially like we would only do this with male going into male restroom, female to female, and say, um, adult coming in, and if your phone is out, 
and you are watching it, then you have just gotten a cell phone infraction. And if the 13 of you out there with two infractions, if that happens to you, whether it's in the restroom or anywhere else, you're on a contract. Just, you don't know. like it, bro. I know. I you know? Oh, I know, Becca. Wait, do you have infractions, Oliver? No, 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 from last year. From last year. I had to you're good this year. All the way you guys, over there. we're at five minutes. We have to go faster. Okay, Abed. Uh, so, do you know where your stuff is? Well, uh, do you have, are you missing hoods? Um, check for your stuff in your lockers. Uh, remember not to keep food in there because it'll rot. And yeah, there's a lot horrible. of blossom ground, so please get your stuff. Get your stuff. <laughs> and Christino. All right, let's be so cool. Pick up your trash after yourself out. Awesome. <laughs> and here's my question for you, Christino. It, before before all of us, do you pick up your trash? Sometimes. No. Oh, oh my man. goodness. Yes. Oliver, do you pick up your trash? Oh my goodness. <laughs> you guys. Yeah, I can just to be that. clear, it is under no one's job description except for yours to pick up your trash. So we'll probably one. start having infractions based on trash pickup, leading to I don't know. You know what? It'll it'll just be sad. Okay, guys, 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 guys. There are 152 people that went to the roller skate night last night, and it was so much fun, and we're definitely going to do it again. And there were pictures posted on Instagram, but, um, oh, my goodness, so much fun. It was fun. We'll do it again. And student leader training is Tuesday after school, and the event is Thursday. Um, and guess what? Nobody no submitted any, well, any what pictures. What are you doing, Stop being a freaking bum. Tell us, Sam. you guys, how My do God. you submit pictures so that it gets here? All right, so what you do? Wait, wait, we got to do step by step. So no, we do? don't have time for step by step. Oh, email is right. right. Also, if you want to do announcements, come to the office and say, I'd like to do announcements, and we'll put you on the schedule. Where, where uh, last week, who, who's these little ones? Who's that? Dylan. 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 And Jay. Dylan. Dylan. From well, it's virtue boys. ceremony time from all of us to all of you. Have a good Have a good weekend. Yay, 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 Bye. Bye.